So just a quick recap on the shock pump. Once you unthread the cap on the Schrader valve, the shock pump, because this is a very high pressure system, you can't just, you actually have to thread the shock pump on. So the same way you're doing to put the cap on it, you just thread it in all the way, right? And what happens then is there's no leaks. And then, you know, obviously this will be mounted and you won't have to do this, but then you just watch the gauge as you pump the shock. And then when you're done, you disconnect it quickly and there's minimal air leakage with the disconnection. But so that's how the shock pump works. Every different payload you're gonna put on here is gonna require a different adjustment to get the optimum performance especially because what worked yesterday may not work today, even with the same payload. Why? Because of the terrain you're on. So if you're on a perfectly glass smooth asphalt road, you'll be able to loosen up the shock maybe. Uh, there'll be, a, it'll have a certain amount of adjustment and you'll get good results. Now, if the next day you leave the same adjustments and you go to a, a washboard road, it's not gonna work so well. So this is why it's hard for us to sort of post like specs, oh, put it this much pressure, do three clicks this way, because one, we don't know what your payload is, right? Everyone's gonna put a different payload. Two, we don't know what road you're driving on. So while I could maybe make a chart that says, you know, for 50 pounds of camera, put this much pressure in the shock, that doesn't account for the terrain you're gonna be driving on. And so depending on the terrain, you might actually wanna take a lot of uh, air pressure out of that. So this is one of those things that you're going to have to test yourself you're going to have to develop a ability to to figure out what you need to do with the suspension we're going to ship the shock with sort of the closest thing to what i can come up with with sort of a middle of the road setup that allows you to pull it out of the box throw a camera on there and probably have it work pretty decently so we are going to pre-adjust and pre-inflate the shock so that it's kind of ready out of the box, but you're gonna to wanna to tune it for your payload.